Hello everyone, this is Isa. In today's video, I'll show you how to download Kali Linux on your virtual box. First thing we need to do, we're gonna go to Kali Linux. And this is their website, Kali.org. We're gonna go to downloads and we're gonna choose download Kali Linux. Then we're gonna choose the first option we got the installer 64 bit you gotta click here and then i'm gonna save it now we're gonna wait for kali linux to be downloaded on our desktop great so now we have our kali linux downloaded what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna drag my kali linux put it in the desktop for now i'm gonna go ahead and open our virtual box we're gonna click on new i'm gonna name it asa kali what we need to do in here we're gonna change the type from microsoft office we're gonna choose linux and as you see in here for version even if you look around you wouldn't find anything for kali so what are we gonna do we're gonna choose debian 64 and we're gonna go ahead and click next and we're gonna go and click next and in here you can choose whatever memory size you like uh, the green means you are still in the safe side uh, that that's kind of um, the recommended so I'm just gonna do this for now because I already have Kali Linux I'm just installing this for you guys to see and in this option we're gonna leave it as it is we're gonna go with create and for this as well we're gonna leave it as vdi virtual box disk image we're gonna go next and for this one you have two options you have fixed size where you allocate the hard disk size and you can exceed that size that you put for yourself so for example let's say you had two gigabytes and you need it more because you've been using Kali Linux for a long time and you needed like an extra gigabyte so you won't be able to do that so basically you will be stuck the dynamically allocated which is the one that I always recommend whenever you need size you will still be able to get more size and that will exceed the size that you start with however whenever you delete your files you can't go down and lower the size of the virtual machine that you are using because you will be stuck with the size that you reached in your machine. So basically you can go up with the size, but you can't go down. I like to keep it as dy dynamically allocated. It's your call. And then we're gonna go with next. Okay, and that's whatever you wanna choose. I'm just gonna go and put three gigabytes, create. Now we're gonna go with actually setting up our Kali Linux. We're gonna click on settings after we highlight Kali. We're gonna go to system and you can change the base memory from here. You can choose whatever you like in case you want to change anything and that's the the RAM how many RAM you wanted to give your machine. My original Kali the one that I use all the time I actually gave it around nine uh, RAMs because I use it all the time and I want it to be fast. Uh, for this one I'm just gonna put two or even three because th I'm doing this just for the video uh, then we're gonna go to storage and now what we need to do we go to empty and we're gonna choose the file that we just installed and I put it on my desktop and I'm gonna choose Kali Linux now let's go and start our virtual box I'm gonna click on start and we will follow the normal steps to install our Kali Linux that might take time depends Gonna go and click start now we are going through installing Kali Linux so now just go and click enter and we'll wait for our Kali to install then you're gonna choose the language continue your location continue the keyboard that's a normal installation steps it shouldn't take a very long time 
And in here it asks you what name you want to give your Kali Linux. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to leave it as Kali. You can leave this empty. You don't have to write anything. Go with next. And this is that they're going to create uh, a name for you. So I'm just going to write Kali. One more time. Continue. Username for your account is Kali. Correct. And then you can choose a password. We're gonna click continue and it's gonna ask you about the time I'm gonna choose Pacific and I'm gonna click continue and this options for partition in your disk I'm just gonna go and click continue continue continue, continue. so as you see guys everything I'm following is just the default everything continue continue but when we go to this option where it says partition disks we're gonna choose yes so you don't have to do it manually then we're gonna click continue and now it's installing our Kali Linux we're just gonna give it a time all right and as we see in here this is the last step you're gonna choose your desktop environment I would leave it as default this is what I use all the time unless you want to choose something different then you're gonna click continue and let me tell you something as soon as you click continue there are some of you who are gonna have a message that's saying installation failed for whatever reason it's either your internet connection or your operating system whatever reason please don't panic everything is under control just go with the default click continue 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 just go with the default and Kali will fix it for you and you will be able to install it so don't panic and if you have any any questions about that leave it in the comment and i will be more than happy to answer you and solve it so let's wait for kali linux to install i'll log into my kali linux now oops there we go and as you see in here this is our new kali linux so what's the next step we need to do after we install our Kali Linux? First thing we need to do, we're going to go to file. We're going to power off our Kali Linux and I'll show you the reason. So now that we power off our Kali Linux, we go back to our virtual box. Kali Linux. We're going to click on settings. Then we're going to go to storage and we're going to remove that installation that we did okay and then we're gonna click okay and then you go ahead and start your Kali Linux normally and everything will be good okay what's next so as you know guys we just installed our Kali Linux we know it's clean it's new we don't have any issues we don't have any problem so the best thing to do right now we right click on here then we're gonna choose clone and we're gonna clone our system and the reason why so in the future if you run into any problem uh, you can simply delete this one and you can log in from the clone and as you go you you can keep taking snapshots of your system if you see in here all my my um, all my virtual box that I use all the time I always have a clone for them in case something happened if you have any questions or if you encountered any problem while you were installing your Kali Linux please feel free to ask in the comments and I'll answer you and if you want to know what next and what we need to do please watch my next video where I'm gonna explain to you the top things to do as soon as you install your Kali Linux thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to support my videos thank you guys